My vision of leadership has been created by me and for me. It pertains to my life, my views, my background, and my future. I wanted this project to be personal, and for that reason, I chose to only use pictures of myself, my friends, and my family to illustrate my vision of leadership. Leadership, it's a huge part of my life. A day does not go by in which I am not subject to its effects. Leadership is everywhere. Although it's intangible, I can still see, hear, and feel it. Since freshman year, the Center for Leadership and International Relations has shown me the importance of its four cornerstones, perspective, communication, ethics, and service. Each class has touched my heart in its own special way. Mr. Doyle's class created a spark that has burned within me ever since. His class taught me the ways of history's greatest leaders, but I felt a little lost. I had all this information about leadership, but I didn't know how to make it work for me. Deep inside, I was yearning to find out what kind of leadership I would utilize in my high school career. Mrs. Stewart helped unwrap the gift of communication. The class hit home when I realized that I would undoubtedly use these skills in my future. in my future, which was destined to be leadership. My eyes were open to how outside pressures and problems can affect leaders in Mr. Couliard's class. It further reiterated my belief that good leaders are first good people. Service has always been close to my heart. When I give back to my school and community and help others, I feel like I've made a difference. Even if the effects are short-lived, they are strong enough to always keep me coming back for more. Each of the cornerstones has helped create my vision of leadership. Every year, I've seen leadership in a new way and in all different styles, and this has helped me realize what leadership really means to me. Freshman year, my vision of leadership dealt with leading by example. This is still part of my vision, but it doesn't yield quite as much importance. I have since realized that leadership is just as much about the leader as it is about the follower. And now my vision of leadership focuses on the relationship between the two. Aside from the basic traits of passion, responsibility, being an orator, and a problem solver, the deciding factor between good and bad leadership comes down to how it makes the follower feel. As a leader, I hope to always leave my followers with a positive outlook on the task at hand. I try to look for the positive in all people and situations, so it is natural for me to want my followers to have this same hopeful disposition. In order for this to happen, as a leader, I must show my passion and love for what I'm doing. I must continue to be my true, positive, and energetic self. If a leader has done their job right, the followers will feel as if they did it on their own. Maybe it should be called opportunity ship, but I believe that this allows the followers to grow and take more responsibility, and in turn have a more personal connection to the project. For me, leadership has a lot to do with presenting opportunities for others to better themselves. The most important and powerful trait in a leader is that of believing. In all of the obstacles I have encountered throughout my high school career, I've realized that if I can believe it, I can do it. When others are down and defeated, it's important for leaders to keep smiling and show them that everything will work out. This is an impressive concept that I swear by. As a leader, I will hold my head high and believe in myself and my followers, no matter what challenges face us.